With Khabib Nurmagomedov riding off into the sunset, the lightweight throne has a vacancy that needs to be filled, and a new king will be crowned at UFC 262. Although it will be the most unlikely of challengers, with one of the longest tenured fighters in the organization facing a newcomer who wasn't even part of the UFC at this time last year, as Charles Dubronx Oliveira faces former Bellator lightweight champion Michael Chandler. Will it be the Brazilian submission specialist or the heavy-handed world-class wrestler? This is By The Numbers. Charles Oliveira made his UFC debut in August of 2010, and his first eight years were a roller coaster ride as he went 10 and 8 with one no contest, with losses to the likes of Max Holloway, Frankie Edgar, Donald Cerrone, and Anthony Pettis, among others. But something happened after suffering a second round TKO loss to Paul Felder in 2017, and Dubronx hasn't looked back since. Oliveira has gone 8 and 0 with five submissions two knockouts, and one unanimous decision, with a total cage time of 1 hour, 4 minutes, and 43 seconds, or a little over 8 minutes of fight. His recent surge will be rewarded with his first title opportunity in a UFC career that has spanned a decade in 27 fights. And he'll face an opponent who gets a crack at UFC gold after only 8 months with the promotion in a grand total of one UFC fight. But oh, what a UFC debut it was for Michael Chandler, who needed all of 2 minutes and 30 seconds to take out Dan Hooker. But in all seriousness, Michael Chandler has long been one of the best fighters in the world to not compete in the UFC. Chandler is a three-time Bellator lightweight champion, who left the promotion holding the record for most fights at 23 and second all-time with 18 wins. Chandler's record is 22-5 with 10 knockouts and 7 submissions, a 77.3% finish rate. But 13 of those finishes have come in the first round, which means that over 76% of his finishes have happened in less than 5 minutes. However, despite his stellar record, Chandler has only gone 6-5 in title bouts. His 5 championship losses are also a Bellator record. Speaking of records, Oliveira has plenty of them in the UFC. He is currently tied for the most UFC finishes with 16, and of those 16 finishes, 14 have come by way of submission, also an all-time UFC record. And when it comes to those 14 submissions, he's only needed to attempt a submission 35 times, which is a ridiculous submission completion percentage of 40%. That means if he attempts one, you're likely screwed. He's also 8th among active fighters with 27 fights, and 6th with 18 wins. Together, Chandler and Oliveira have finished 66.6% .6 of their victories by knockout or submission. And of their combined 66 fights, they've only needed the judges to decide the winner 11 times. So chances are, this fight is not going the distance. And here's another stat for you. Former Bellator champions have gone 21 and 27 in the UFC, a winning percentage of only 43.7%. And of those former Bellator champions, only Eddie Alvarez has gone on to win UFC gold. So can Chandler become the second? Or will Oliveira's long journey culminate by finally becoming a UFC champion in his 28th fight? But these are just numbers, and numbers can't fight for you when that cage door shuts. So we'll find out who the new lightweight champion will be at UFC 262.